One of the quickest ways to immediately save yourself some time is to add a scheduling calendar to your website. Forget about going back and forth trying to figure out a time that works best for everyone for your meetings and appointments. Just send over your link and they can pick a date and time that works best with them and fits in with your calendar availability. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a free account on Calendly, hook that up to your calendar, and then add the Calendly widget to your WordPress website. Let's get started. Head over to the Calendly website by clicking the link in the description below or going to calendly.com. To sign up, the easiest thing for you to do here is to either sign up with your Google account or your Microsoft account because that's going to make it way easier for you to connect to your calendar. I use Google products, so that's what I'm going to select here. And then I'm going to choose the account that I have with Google that I want to use with Calendly. And then I'm going to allow the permissions. And first thing we have to do is set our Calendly URL and our time zone. For your Calendly URL, doing something like your business name is probably great. If you have a super common business name, you might have to add something onto it, like your industry or something, because you're not gonna be able to have a URL that somebody already has. When you're done with that, click the continue button. Next, Calendly is gonna connect with your Google Calendar, and it's going to automatically check your calendar for conflicts and then also add events to that calendar. If all this looks good to you, click continue. Next, set your availability. This is going to be the times people are going to be allowed to schedule with you. And you'll be able to change this in more detail later on. But when you're done here, click continue. Next, click your role. And then click finish. So there we go. Calendly set you up with a new meeting right here. Note that the free plan does only include one event type. So if you want to make any changes to this meeting, go ahead and hover over the gear icon in the top right of that widget and then click edit. And then this is where you can change the settings. I'm going to click done to go back. And if you want to change your availability, you can click availability in this left hand column. And from here you can set your weekly hours and also override with date specific hours. Now let's get the calendar added to your website. So click event types in the left and then click the share button on your event type. Then it's going to give you options to share a link, add times to an email or add to the website. So we're going to click add to website. And now there's three different ways that you can add your calendar to the website. I'm going to show you how to do all of them. The first one is inline embed. So select that one and then click continue. This is the one I use the most for my client sites and also the one that I use on my site. I just think it looks really streamlined when it's added directly into your site. You probably wanna hide event details so they don't show up in Calendly in your site. Just put them on the page. It's gonna look better that way. And then if you have a cookie banner, you can also hide that. And then you can change your button and link color and your text color if you'd like and the background color also. And then once you have that done, click the copy code button, head over to your website, click pages, hover over the page that you want to add that calendar to, and then click edit. Click the plus sign to add a new block. If it's not there, search for HTML to add a custom HTML block, and then paste the code right in there, and then click update. Once that's done, view the page. and you'll see that your scheduling calendar is right there, embedded directly into the page. If you're using Elementor, you can also add it in with an HTML widget. So let's click the Edit with Elementor button. And Elementor already added in the page content in a text box, but we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna search for an HTML widget. We're gonna drag it into the page wherever you want it to go, and then paste the code there and then you're gonna click update, and then view the page, and then there it is. Next, hop back to Calendly, and then we'll click the back button to do the next way to add it on the site, which is the pop-up widget. So click that, and then click continue. And then we have some more settings and another HTML code. So again, you can change the button text, you can change the button background color, and then you can change the stuff on the booking page as well. And then you can click copy code, back to the website, and then if we edit this page, 
select the edit HTML widget. Of course, if you're using the WordPress editor, you would just do this on the block. I'm selecting everything with control A and then I'm control Ving to paste it on the site. And then I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to view the page. And there it is, it's down here. It's actually kind of being blocked by another widget I have on my site, but you won't have that widget on your site and yours won't be blocked. And then when people click that, then this pop-up will come up and they will be able to pick a time right here. Finally, let's pop back to Calendly and then just do a text link that opens in a pop-up. So we're gonna click pop-up text and then we're gonna click continue. Again, settings and HTML code. The link text you can change to make this say whatever you want. And then the booking page, you can have that look however you want. And then you can click copy code again, head back to your website, click edit with Elementor, or edit page if you're just using the WordPress editor. Select that HTML code, control A to select everything, control V to put in the new code, and then click update, and then view the page and then test that link by clicking it. And you'll see it's the same pop-up like that other one just had, and then they can schedule directly through here. Now that this is done, don't forget to test it. Go ahead and go on your website and schedule an event with yourself from a different calendar and make sure everything shows up and works correctly. And that's it. Now you have a scheduling calendar added to your WordPress website completely for free. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get your free download of my nine-step roadmap to DIY your first website. It'll guide you with everything you need to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.